Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm Amber Burns Black here, and I am running late, and I apologize for that, guys. So let me get that on. And we're good. We're good. <laughs> no, nope, we're angled wrong. So got YouTube up. Give me a second. I'm sorry. I was in the middle of something and I was running late. So, hey, I'm Ember Burns Black. Thank you for coming to the live stream today. I'm going to be making steak with my broiler. And I'm actually really excited about it. I hear you, kitty. So let me get up my other stream. Almost ready. <laughs> so. A conversation I had this week was um, my last video. Somebody couldn't believe that I had put steak on a, that's not the app I want now. Come on. Steak on a George Foreman. So I said, if uh, you think you can't put it on a George Foreman, try it on a boiler. So no, that's not the app I want. I've closed you twice. Why are you still coming up? Nope. Oh, I see what's going on. Nope. Okay, so <laughs> while I get this up, skip. The first thing you want to do when you're using a boiler is you want to know where your boiler is. Now, the boiler is usually the top heating unit. Some ovens don't have this. I've actually had an oven where the boiler section of the oven was under the entire range. But that was also a gas stove. Now, I don't know if all gas stoves are like that or not, but that was just something I thought was kind of like, huh. When I uh, had that oven, but that oven was also full size. So I wait for this to load. Yep, got it. I'm going to take my oven rack. And you can see how thin my oven is right here. With how, there we go. Look how thin that is. So I'm going to take my oven rack and I'm going to put it up to the top. I'm actually going to put it one down. because I want to make real sure that my food isn't touching the top rack. Okay. Hold on, I gotta add an description for this. Add a description or tag your stream. Oh, hey! Technical difficulties as per usual. Okay, there we go. And once you see my face, we can hit the start, start that. Awesome, got that up. So, as I said, I've just moved my boiler pan or my boiler rack, more rather. The first thing you wanna do is you want to find a place to put my phone. <laughs> Give me one second. I got multiple strings going. Eventually this will, I'll figure this out so I can get it all synchronized better. There we go. Whoop, nope. There we go. Perfect. So one day I'll have this on. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my boiler and the boiler doesn't have a temperature. It just says boiler. While I got that done, I'm going to go ahead and move my board and put my phone back up right so you're not looking at the ceiling over here. Actually, I wonder if I can have it there. There we go. Perfect. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my rice cooker and there's a lot of things you can do in the rice cooker. And I'm actually going to set up my rice while I have, uh, while I have that going. Now, when you're doing a rice cooker, always just follow the directions for your rice because the rice cooker is made to support <clears throat> excuse me, the type of rice that you're making. So I actually lost the cup. This one is an aroma. It came with a little cup. Hey, so um, the little cups that they have are the equivalent of two thirds. So what I'm going to do is it's actually a cup and a third of rice to two cups of water. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm using basmati rice. It actually has a very delicious flavor to it. And like I said, it's 
a cup and a third of rice for Bismani to two cups of water. Put that down. It's one, two, one cup, and a third of cup. Now, what I like about this model is it actually has the liquid measurements on the side, so that works out really well. So let me put this back. And before I add the water, I'm going to actually hang this up real quick. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some liquid bouillon. And this is actually the garlic flavor. Um, I've really fallen in love with the liquid bouillon just because it has a, it's a little easier to manage. And with bouillon, you can actually uh, make your own stock and choose how rich or how mild you want it. So I have actually just put that in there. And I just put like a tablespoon-ish in my rice cooker. Next, I'm gonna take teriyaki sauce because my daughter has asked for teriyaki rice. And I'm going to put that, hold on. This is that weird thick sauce. I don't know why they put the cap on it, just restriction. And I'm just coating, I don't know what that was. Now I'm just coating my rice with the um, teriyaki sauce. It's kind of like that thick one. Give it like a little shake and then I'm gonna add my water. And like I said, the two is labeled here. So I'm gonna, Hold this even in the sink. Give me one second. Now all rice cookers are different. This one I tend to really like. Hello. So I'm gonna give this a stir. Make sure that bouillon is really up in there. Cause I kind of wanted to touch all the rice and as it cooks, it's gonna expand to be delicious. All rice cookers operate differently. So whatever your instructions say or however you do it, you do you. So I'm just going to put that there and plug it in. And then, hey, I got to hit uh, the button for cooked. And it starts cooking. <laughs> so that's going to be going for a little bit. So let me put this to the side. You know what? I don't need my can opener today. So I'm going to take my can opener and move that over here. Put my rice cooker, hello, over here. That way everybody can see. And next I'm going to grab my beautiful cutting board and I'm going to get started on this steak. So the first thing you want to do when you have a wood cutting board is you want to oil it up so that it uh it's basically protected so I forgot to pull out my oil sorry guys there we go try not to move the camera around too much there we go oil don't hit my other phone hello there and I did not I totally just oiled my phone <laughs> That's why it's a backup phone. Thank you, Peanut Gallery. Hold up, guys. Sorry. All right. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and spread this around. If you guys are watching and if you're new to the stream, definitely, definitely. Um, it's black. I try to go live once, twice a week. And I'm rather enjoying this. So, <laughs> okay, now I got that oiled. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out my steak. And before I do anything, I am going to beat my meats. Now, I like beating my meat <laughs> because it tenderizes it and as adds, hey, thank you. It just adds a lot of flavor to it. So I have my meat beater. And hold up. Sorry about that. Just gonna go ahead and beat this up. And 
and then flip it to the coarse side. That is that. That's a piece of plastic. And do it again. And what this does, <laughs> what this does is, see what I'm doing. I am so sorry, guys. So what this does is it actually makes the meat more tender and it uh, allows you to get the flavor up in there. So when you go to season it, it really, really flavors that steak. So a couple things in the description, I definitely have my TikTok, which is also Ember Burns Black. Um, I try to post on there once a week. I really would like you guys to subscribe. Subscribing me helps me reach more viewers that also enjoy my content. And it helps me grow and get bigger and do better things because that is the goal. Just get, hello, just, you know, teach everybody how to cook. Why not? So this is a boiler pan. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my steak on here. <clears throat> Pick that up. Remember, my steak is nice and tenderized now if you can see that and not only that you don't really want to buy um pre-tenderized meat because you don't know how well they can clean those machines it's better to do it yourself so i'm just going to throw um basic worcestershire or what's this here sauce on it and i'm only going to do one side and just kind of slosh it on there so it's nice and juicy next i'm going to take some liquid smoke and this is uh, hickory flavored. And I'm just going to throw that on there a little bit. I'm not really doing anything fancy fancy. I'm just doing kind of basic. Because I just, I want it to be delicious. And I got some time for the rice to cook. So next I'm going to throw on some just generic steak seasoning. And this will be, this will be good. And then <clears throat> I have the one child that does not like steak. So I am going to do her a solid and I have a leftover rib from the past two nights because I made, <laughs> I made ribs and I actually made too much food. So I wanted to live stream yesterday and didn't because we had leftovers. So I'm going to put this rib here or this. Oh, you can't see what I'm doing again. So I have a foil here. I'm just gonna take my rib. And uh, I'm just gonna cover this with teriyaki and I'm gonna cover it in the foil. The reason I'm covering this one in foil is I don't want to lose the teriyaki flavor. Now I would beat this. But these ribs are kind of weird and they have bones in them. So I'm just going to saturate that completely with the teriyaki sauce and then wrap it kind of like in a boat. Lose its juice. So the whole concept of what I hope happens is I don't really want to fully wrap it up. I just want the juice to stay in. So I'm hoping that this catches the juice. Actually, I am gonna put another piece on it. Cause I, I've changed my mind. I do want it to cook thoroughly. I just don't want, the teriyaki sauce to swim off of it because then it would not be a teriyaki rib but I do want to get the so I'm actually going to move my steak over just a wee bit hello there there we go, get the steak over, put my rib on. And remember, I'm using my boiler, yeah, there's sticking out. I already got my boiler preheated, and I did the one thing I did not want to do. I 
I actually put my oven rack in crooked. Remember, I moved the oven rack before I heated the oven. But I was looking at the camera and not paying attention. So hold on. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to put my steak in. I actually put my rib all the way in because it's pork. It's really important that it gets cooked all the way. So next, done with that for a bit. Mm, excuse me. Wash the raw meats off my hands. I got a pot. I will show you what the pot is for in a minute. The mushrooms. I just, I hate having groceries on my hands. <laughs> so. Actually, just clean up a tad. I don't know though. What is that doing all the way over there? Okay. Now, next up, I'm actually going to start doing some mushrooms for my steak and my rice, which my rice is going pretty good. Let me pull that out so I can show you. Hold on a minute. So, if you see the rice, it is still cooking. It's actually kind of bubbling. And the bubbling is kind of important because it um, shows it's cooking. Because you want the rice to gain the moisture. You don't want dry rice and you don't want rice that's just liquid. So next I'm going to start my mushrooms. I'm not going to use this whole thing of mushrooms, but I am going to use a lot of it. Put this on... Um, at a high to low, it goes up to seven. I'm just going to put it on a four, medium. And I am going to grab another spoon. Throw that in the trash. And I'm going to add, hello, just like a chunk of butter to my pan that I got going right here. Stir that around and let it melt. And then I'm going to start pulling my mushrooms out of here. Always check your mushrooms because I've opened up a set like that one. I'm not entirely sure. I trust that's a little wrinkly. Um, I picked up mushrooms before and everything was fine and dandy. And then I pulled off the top layer and it was straight mold. And it kind of... For a long time, I wouldn't buy mushrooms unless I was buying them in bulk. So it kind of gave me a little fear of mushrooms for probably about two years. I'm actually swirling this butter in here. I just want to get the butter kind of tops. And this is how I do my um, steak mushrooms. Is I kind of fill a little pot with as much as I can. Because I love mushrooms. Mushrooms and steak are just meant to be. Just fill up this pan with them. And as it goes, they kind of steam, they kind of shrink, works out. So we got them going. Because I think when I did my steak and mushrooms a couple of weeks ago, I think I actually did them all in one pan. Now I'm just going to put these in a Ziploc and uh, stick them back in the fridge for perhaps tomorrow or the next day. Actually, I got pizza stuffs because everybody in the house loves the pizza I made. So, I actually grabbed a garlic clove that I was going to make. But I, hi! Who there? Oh, I have a kitty. <laughs> oh, I didn't expect to do that. My bad. <laughs> so, I have a garlic clove, like I just said. I lost my train of thought. That I was going to put in, but I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to put it in or not. I might actually just stick to the garlic pepper. You know what? Mm, let me grab a clean cutting board because I don't want the cutting board with all the meats on it for one garlic clove. Or, you know what? I can. It doesn't matter. So, while I got that going, I'm just going to cover this up real quick grab my one garlic clove and I'm going to slice him up. Let's 
So let me always cut off the end. Put you down so you can see what I'm doing. Hi, kitty. And then I'm going to slice my clove really fine. Oops. I, I really hate cutting cloves. Like, <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Okay, oops. Come on. There we go. And now I'm going to go this way with it. That way I get like the little chunks and strips. And if I see anything big, just chop it up too. So I'm going to grab all of this now. And I'm going to toss that in my pot with the mushrooms as soon as I grab it all. Okay. Give that a little stir. Pull you back up. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to butter it again so that my mushrooms don't dry out. This actually is a beautiful, beautiful dish. I do this probably multiple times a week. Clean up some here. Now how I do my um, steak mushrooms is I take some more what's this here sauce and I put that in and just make sure I kind of drench my mushrooms in it. And that I'm going to take, I'm going to actually put this back. I'm going to go ahead and take some garlic pepper, put that in there. Now, if I had small enough onions, I put that in, but I don't. So I'm actually going to use some minced onion. Actually, while I'm housekeeping, I'll put that in here too. So I'm going to put some minced onion in here. And it's just, you know, how much you like, whatever you like. So <clears throat> give that another stir. And my kitchen is hot. If I look like I'm in distress, I am okay. I am not totally dying yet like I was last time. So I got these onions, I mean, these mushrooms pretty well seasoned. I have them on a four. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add another spoon of butter. And I'm just going to let the butter sit on top so it seeps down over my mushrooms. Get this out of the way. And then I'm going to, wow, I really just had that really close to the burner. Jeez. Cover it, turn it up to a five from a four, and let that go. So if you see my rice now, my rice is actually really steaming. You can't open it until it's ready, but you can see the liquid is steeping down into that basmati rice. I'm going to put my butter away. So. Oh, cool. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead I'm going to wash my hands. Now, a couple things while I wait for everything to cook. Uh, I know a lot of you want me to film from start to finish, and I'm really trying to do that. <laughs> um, I actually know a lot of you guys have come over and you have found my stream from the spaghetti sauce video, and I love and appreciate that. And I thank you so much for giving my channel a chance. If you're here from there, just please hit that subscribe button. It helps me to make better content to bring your. Um, I actually found a troll over there. Somebody literally invented a <laughs> Google account just to troll that video. And I have to give, you know, kudos for the lack of life on that. But I'm going to say it again. If you do not like the ingredients that I'm using or you feel that I should cook a certain way, my PayPal, my Cash App, and soon to come, my Patreon is all in the description. I'll actually add my Patreon in the 
What was that? I'll add my Patreon in the playback. I um, I have my pa- my Patreon back up. It's republished, but it it's under construction right now. It looks like a drag show where it's kind of bad. <laughs> so I got that going. Um, I also have my Amazon wish list posted. If you want to hit up that. I've added a chef's knife, so cabbage is no longer going to kick my ass, which is like the huge thing of the last video that everybody seems to think is hilarious. I didn't find it that funny. Now, the rice is still cooking. I don't think you can see it. There are lights on it, and no, you cannot. But the cook button is um, going. Once I get it up to warm, the rice is ready. Let me pull you back. And once the rice comes out, I'm actually going to add parsley to it. So I have the teriyaki. I have a garlic bouillon and teriyaki and parsley. That's going to be absolutely delicious. I got the steak going until it was a stir. Actually, let me grab another spoon. There we go. <clears throat> I just want that butter to cover the mushrooms because you can see how the mushrooms have already like sank. I don't want those mushrooms getting dry. And they are looking fantastic. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> that, and if you remember, the boiler is the top burner and I'm standing right next to it. If I look like I'm dying, that's because I am. <laughs> so, push that out of the way. I have like everything's on my um all in the description if you want to help me out in any way because it is very possible with rising food costs, rising gas costs, fuel, food, cost of everything going up. I might end up having to close down my channel again, and I'm trying every way possible to avoid that. So I I have a lot of good things coming up that I cannot discuss openly yet. So I'm really excited that. You will see the changes coming to the channel. You will see the changes and everything. So, guys, I, I'm definitely... Remember, just share these videos. Help my channel to grow. It means the world to me. And I can actually hear my boiler popping. I'm going to take a peek. And my steak looks beautiful. I don't think I can wait on the rice anymore. I'm going to go ahead and pull that out. And with the boiler, you know, it's kind of like, um, you know, check your own times, just like anything else. Ah, that looks beautiful. I'm not sure about that rib, though. I'm a potato. So let me... Check this rib real quick. And all I'm waiting for now is the mushrooms and rice. The steak actually looks done. I'm very much impressed by that. Oops, helps if you can see food. Now, I don't want to grab the aluminum foil with your bare hands. The rib is not done. So, I am going to... I'm actually going to put the rib back in. Give me one second. Let me get a plate. And the steak, if you notice, the juice on top is clear. It's ready. You can cook your uh, steak to whatever degree of doneness you want, but they're nice and juicy. They're not dried out in any sense. I'm going to put that rib back in there. Really hope. Now you cook, okay? I'm giving you the whole of it. That's a pork rib. It cannot be raw. So I got um, nice steam going on in here. 
It's like a sweat lodge. <laughs> so I got uh, my mushrooms are going now. They're really looking fantastic. I don't have to worry about losing them. They are beautiful. They have lightened in color, well, darkened in color from being their raw state. They're super soft. I'm waiting for my rice to cook. But I mean, the mushrooms will be done as soon as the rice is done. And the rice is kind of on its own schedule. That's the way that rice cookers work. So. I'm a potato. I love how people just message me and expect me to respond when they should be watching my stream. I don't understand that at all. <laughs> so we'll get them straight. So now I'm just waiting for my rice to finish cooking. I have my pork chop, which is for the child that doesn't eat meat. I look like a pig. <laughs> Dang. Hold on. I should probably powder up before I do this. Believe it or not, I'm like super conscious, so I don't sweat into the food, but it's like... Wow. Because <laughs> you can feel it move. Yikes. And I just, uh, body fluids and food do not mix. <laughs> I look better now. Yeah. But like I said, just reading on rice. Um, thank you so much for watching this. I am going to play it out because that is what you all have asked me to do. Um, <clears throat> I love doing this. I keep getting more and more viewers over here on Meet Me, which is cool. If you guys uh, are enjoying this, there's a better stream going on on YouTube. I got my steak right here, nice and juicy. My mushrooms are going up and my rice is done. So let me grab a, another plate. Two kids, two plates. Let me go ahead and plate this. I'm going to go ahead and turn these mushrooms off. Pull the rice out of the rice cooker, which is nice and ready. And this is the, like I said, the Bazzani rice. And that looks like it has amazing flavor to it. So I'm going to go ahead and move one of these steaks over to another plate. <clears throat> I've already turned off my mushrooms. <clears throat> I'm going to add a nice three scoops of rice. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab myself hot, 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 some mushrooms and push this back. So put the mushrooms over the steak. Remember there's garlic, garlic, pepper, uh, what's this here sauce and minced onion in here. So move this to the side. I gotta check on that rib in a bit. Here's my dinner. It is beautiful. Let me grab a fork and knife. Actually, I'm gonna use the parsley that I pulled out and I'm gonna go ahead and put the parsley on top of the rice. Not only to be delicious, but to give it some green color. Give me one second. So, <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try a mushroom. That is, oh, that's good. Woo! Throw it in the sink. It's all right. Sink's clean. Okay. So, let me try a mushroom, and then I'm going to try a piece of steak and rice. Mushroom's hot. I'm going to try the mushroom last. So, let me try a piece of the steak. And then a piece of this rice. And that is perfect steak. The steak you can do to any doneness, but when you hear it pop, that's your cue. That is your cue. Oh, I'm like the rice cooker. You don't want it to stay warm forever. Otherwise, you get sticking to the thing. Let me try some rice.
Mm. That's perfect. Garlic um, teriyaki on the spot. Another mushroom. Perfect texture. Nice and soft. Like cooked, but not rubbery. Not perfect. Thank you guys for watching. They have to rise. In a minute. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. I also have TikTok. If you really want to support me, all my support links are in the description, Cash App, PayPal, and I will be adding my Patreon. And thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Stay gorgeous. Bye. <laughs>